can apache taml be used as a message bus hello and welcome before i answer this question or we try to get the answer to this question let's just have a high level understanding of what message bus means so a message bus is a communication system that lets software components exchange messages with each other right it's like a it's like a central hub for sending and receiving messages between different systems making integration easier it allows applications to send messages without knowing the exact destination which reduces coupling and increases flexibility okay so you can see one example over here services are loosely connected to each other they are sending messages to each other without knowing okay they are just sending to this this central hub or central um, middleware you want to call it okay and they don't need to know the exact detail about the the end service what protocol that service is using or what technology that 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 end service is using as long as you can talk to this this middle hub or central hub that's what that, that's what matters so come back to our question can apache camel be used as a message bus answer is yes apache camel can be used as a message bus in fact camel supports many enterprise integration patterns what we call eips including the message bus pattern which makes it suitable technology for implementing a message bus architecture camel can um, help to simplify the integration of different software components in a in a in a distributed systems by providing a central hub for sending and and receiving messages between between these systems it also um, facilitates uh, decoupling between uh, producers and and consumers making the system more flexible and and easy to maintain all right so answer we got here is yes apache camel can be used as a as a message bus so what we will do um in in a workshop we will try to uh, build a, a, or we'll try to solve a little problem okay and the problem we have in our hand is let's say i have an application um some user some another service is is making some sort of http calls okay let's say in in java spring world you you have a bunch of you know rest controllers or rest services okay um and as data comes um maybe you know we are passing on to another service okay we are storing into to to dbms for example sounds good so this would be like you no know, one one type of integration okay so the the message is coming to like you no know, one root okay and then you are storing into to dbms nobody knows about each other yeah message is just coming to this this central place now let's say tomorrow your your business asks that i want to kind of you know start streaming or start sending events to some sort of um, a message broker from the same same destination all right so apache camel can you know very easily um, allow you to do that you can you can you know take the same message now you can send it to dbms now the same message can be now published to a message broker tomorrow if you know your business says uh, you know what um, i would also like to maybe write some sort of you know events to file system as well okay maybe let's say if if there are suppose uh, attachments coming with my message maybe i would like to extract those videos or those those images and i would like to put them onto onto file system so the beauty here is a, a one common message is coming but then using you know um, you're using apache camel you can consume that message and you can send it to different different destinations in a in a different different formats make sense okay you don't have to necessarily send the same message everywhere you can you can you can slice and dice as as you wish so let's do one thing let's let's quickly try to build an apache camel route okay which consumes this this http service uh, request controller and uh, maybe then it writes to some sort of rabbit mq and then what we will do we will we'll, we'll basically after that we'll also try to store the same thing into a file system okay so i will try to build the the top bit over here and then we'll try to add this extension into our our message bus using um, apache camel all right so let me take you to intellij okay so i have intellij running over here 
for this 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 demo uh, or this video i have actually wrote uh, a bunch of uh, routes already actually this is from from the previous video if you if you remember so what we are simply doing over here if i take you slightly up 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 over here all right so what we are doing over here is basically we are going to consume a post uh, request okay post method uh, http request which is about weather and we like to save that weather data about some 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 city basically all right once we manage to uh, call this route called save weather data what it's going to do is it's going to write to rabbit so you got the message you can you can do sys out or whatever then you would like to publish that message to rabbit okay so let's start with this thing okay and after that what we'll do we'll see how easy it is to kind of you know connect the the same message stream which is coming to maybe another source or it can be a file system okay so let me start the application so application has been started let's go to postman here is my postman so um, this is the service which which i have services weather okay and it's using the the post method as you can see over here if i try to increase the font size tiny bit so you guys can see it better all right so what i'm simply doing is i'm sending this payload okay and well, all right so the payload has just gone we have printed uh, the time uh, this is like 8:33 uh, on 1st of may so the message went to um, some middleware okay or some some message bus um, no client doesn't care okay but what our, what our system did it consumed the message it has now published to to some some destination in our case that destination happened to be rabbit mq all right so let's just quickly have a look at rabbit mq so i have got queues okay i have a uh, weather data queue over here and <clears throat> what we noticed just just now we received one message okay so one message because i don't have a consumer i'm just publishing right now so let's just inspect uh, get message nice and cool i've, I've got a uh, message you notice we just published this message to rabbit mq so we managed to publish one message um, using our little little mess message bus now what we want to do as per our diagram we would like to now let's say connect to a file system i'm not connected to dbms it's going to take 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 little while but this might be easier okay so i have a root another root ready uh, you may remember from one of my old videos we we have this little root over here if i try to increase the font size the screen size is quite large over here okay so i have a root let's say i have a root um, which takes some message and then it can write to a file okay it can write to a file um, <clears throat> so what we'll do we will take this root and i'm going to reuse it okay that's that's the beauty of like you know um, apache camel that you can you can just reuse very very nicely so if we come over here and if we say dot to so what we are saying is after writing to rabbit mq you write to some another destination as well and and the destination in our case over here is uh, a file destination okay if i wanted i can you know i can apply some sort of you know content routing i can enrich data with with some other details whatever i want to do okay i i have the flexibility of doing whatever i have to do but just to keep this this demo um, nice and simple uh, what i'm simply doing is whatever payload we are publishing on rabbit mq we're going to write to our, our file okay let's save this file restart our server while the server is restarting let's open uh, a terminal okay let's make sure we don't have any file at the moment so if i just do ls hyphen la you can see this this directory is empty at the moment we we have nothing in this this directory if, if i increase the size a little bit okay so so as you can see 
we do not have anything sitting in, in this directory at the moment. What we're going to do now is we, we will send another postman request. Okay, come back to our postman. This time I'm just gonna say, okay, why are we saying Glasgow? Let's, let's say New Delhi. I don't know what's the temperature of New Delhi, but it, it's, <laughs> it's probably hot. So let's, let's put 38 degree centigrade. All right. So if I send this message, so what we are expecting is a message should be published to our rabbit MQ queue. Message should also be, be written to um, a file system. Okay. So if we come back to our rabbit console first, and if I say get messages, it's Glasgow. Uh, it should have two messages actually. It has two messages. Okay, let's see if I can say, get me two top messages, okay? So there it is, yeah? So first Glasgow, it's still sitting in Rabbit from, from our pre previous attempt. Just now we managed to publish New Delhi and as you can see, time has now gone four minutes up. Another thing which we are expecting now is if I do LS, L over here, can you see the camel demo appends.txt has been has been uh, created just now. All right, so we have the message over here. We don't have a Glasgow because at that point we did not integrate with the file system, but now we managed to kind of, you know, connect our message bus to another destination. So that's what I wanted to show today that how easy it is to kind of, you know, implement a message bus uh, design pattern um, using Apache Camel. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you can, okay? It, it helps me. Leave me a comment at least. Tell me like, you know, what sort of videos you would like to see go going forward. And, and thank you for your support. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.